In March 2012, England suffered the worst drought in decades. April to July then saw the heaviest rainfall in over 100 years. Groundwater levels, however, stayed low, and the last hose pipe bands were only lifted on the 9th of July. We are here to find out how we can be flooded and drastically lack water at the same time. The idea of a water mill had always appealed to me because when I lived at Staines, there were several mill sites around Staines where I used to fish. Within a year or two of being here, we experienced floods it's up to a metre and a half deep. And it was quite evident that I had no control. There was good reason to examine what was going on. The watercourses hadn't been maintained for years and there were too many fallen trees and too much debris in them. And aggradation, which means the build-up of silt and sediment. Rivers need attention and need looking after. If I'm maintaining a river, I would normally leave one bank alone while I clean and cleanse the river on the other bank. I wouldn't clinically do both banks at the same time and do hundreds of metres of river and destroy it all. Every time we get flooded on the television they are complaining about it. But it turns out that roadside drains are generally only in the range 100 millimetres to 150 millimetres in diameter. So they said that was legislation. They were not allowed to put in larger pipes. It's a ridiculous situation where roadside drains become blocked with aggregates, filth, leaves. If you get two inches of rain or 50 millimetres of rain in a day, it's a vast amount of water and the average roadside drain won't pass those flows. Here, they took away 32 tonnes of silt and rubble from this stream alone. For many of the low-lying fields adjacent to the Thames at Windsor and along there, they were drained in order to grow crops. The government encouraged farmers to remove hedges and make fields larger. There were 22 farms when I came to Coley. They were all dairy farms, mixed farms, pig, sheep, and a little bit of arable. Now there are only two people milking cows, but there are a lot of arable farmers growing crops. We went from a traditional farming system of putting manure and humus back onto the land to a the modern system of using chemicals, fertilizers, petroleum. And we've destroyed the ability for the soil to absorb water and release it more slowly. And the arable fields, they get ploughed, they plough right to the edge of the field. So when the rain comes, it flows into the watercourses and we get a brown custard loss of soil. The 100 mill sites in the Stroud Valley used to have mill ponds attached to them. Some of them had two or three hectares. We had a vast amount of water storage. The lungs of the water system that would normally flood and accommodate the flood water and cleanse it were all done away with. Now they claim we haven't got any water. We have massive amounts of water flowing in our rivers, but the powers that be don't do the right things to store it, make use of it. Heavy rainfall, it all flows down into the sea. Nobody thinks of deflecting a little into a storage lake. Large-scale modern farming using chemicals destroys the soil's ability to retain water. Rather than soaking in, rainfall runs off taking the topsoil, humus, nutrient or carbon with it. Fields become barren require more chemicals and rivers silt up with coastal waters degraded. 
As a result, groundwater levels stay low even if it rains continuously for weeks. Hence we can be in drought with simultaneous flood alerts in the same region. There is no shortage of water, but over 90% of UK rainfall typically runs out to sea, often causing flooding on its way, while normal or base flows in rivers get ever lower and water resources more costly. There is a solution to it. People should realise that we need to learn to live with nature rather than trying to dictate to nature. And what we need is more traditional rural maintenance. We should stop putting concrete over all our gardens. Go in for surface water drainage instead of thinking of surface water as a nuisance value that's got to be got rid of. Is it surprising we're short of water? <laughs>